Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is somebody that's like a person that's at the dark night of the soul. Slander, gossip, sleepless nights. Who'll be getting exposed for things that was they did in the dark or things that other people did in the dark. Also could be somebody that, you know, spreaded rumors and lies on a person. And they're trying to figure a situation out with this Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. This person could have been trying to get some quick money behind the scenes at the Knight of Pentacles. Or Three of Pentacles is about people building behind the scenes with this Three of Pentacles. You know, uh, multiple people. So this individual could have been building with two different people behind the scenes with this Three of Pentacles. Trying to get some quick money at the Knight of Pentacles or slow another, you know, person money down with the Knight of Pentacles. Because the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest moving knight in the deck. So they could have overall wanted to slow this person's money down. Or they're trying to figure out behind the scenes why their money is coming in slow. And they're just sitting back at the dark night of the soul, nine of swords, a mental prison in their head trying to figure the situation out. Yeah, they feel like they got a lot of pressure on them. Ten of Wands. They feel burdened. A lot of weight on one individual. They feel like they got a lot of, you know, stuff through in their face that they couldn't see and a lot of stuff on their back that they couldn't weigh. They feel like they're going through karma. Heavy burdens. Like they're running in circles. And this is how they feel behind the scenes. Eight of Cups is here. They probably in the process of walking away from toxic situations or they need to walk away from toxic situations at the Eight of Cups and things that no longer serve them to fulfill their destiny and their purpose here on Earth. They could, you know, be having different views about life, different perspectives about life now, and they no longer, you know, want to be in a confused mindset. They could just be seeing life differently than other people that they have been around with this Eight of Cups is here. Yeah, high priestess. And I'm telling the truth about this situation. High priestess. This person could also feel like they know a lot of secrets. You know, they could be a high priestess. Or somebody that's gifted that, you know, know the truth about situations. Could be somebody that has psychic abilities. A psychic medium. A knight of swords. And I'm coming in quick at the truth. Knight of swords. As they, you know, they feel like they could feel like they know a lot of secrets about, you know, the truth about events that took place. And it was a lot of slander and gossip with this Knight of Swords. It's also, you know, could be somebody coming in quick with the truth or also could be in my deck. Somebody that's, um, you know, they came in quick with lies, gossip, rumors on another individual. Negative uh, gossip. And this person knows the truth about that. They know a lot of stuff that's hidden. Yeah, they want justice to be served. They feel like justice is here. Situation, uh, you know, need to be balanced out or the situation already had been balanced out. But overall, they want justice to be served for something that happened in justice behind the scenes. For, you know, a traumatic, a traumatic situation. They want justice for it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. This could be a mother figure. The Queen of Cups, the cup energy is like love energy. So this could be a mother figure. The Queen of Cups in the upright is somebody that's loving, caring, mother, you know, a nurture, a person that, you know, they love everybody around them. They show love to people. They love they self. But when it's in the reverse, this person is cold hearted. This person don't love they self and they have not showed love to nobody else. They cannot show love to the kids that they have or, you know, different kids that they're around or different, you know. People in general, they just can't show love to. But this person may realize that their mother never loved them. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Or they don't feel loved by, you know, no women. Women that they have been attached to. They, they feel like they kept running into the same woman. Women that are like, you know, their mother. This could be how they feel. Queen of Cups in the reverse. They have been around a lot of women that didn't love themselves. And that's, you know, what they have manifested in their life. And they realizing this as they're, you know, older. This is a, a person that 
This is an older person. Yeah, hangman. They they feel stuck. The hangman position. They could be just getting enlightened and was called to have patience. This person ha could have, with this Ten of Wands, been through so much stuff in their life. You know, being took through a lot of stuff. And they didn't know the reason why they was being took through all these, you know, obstacles and running in circles and feeling burdened. And, you know, going through a lot all the time is because they have a testimony to give. They're here for a purpose. They're supposed to be helping other people get woke. They're supposed to be getting woke. But they feel like they, you know, just running in circles in the same situation. And this person is stuck. They feel stuck in a hangman position. But the reason why they're in this hangman position, because God is calling them to have patience. Observe things that are happening around you. As we are sent here to learn lessons, to move on to our blessings. And this person could overall just be getting enlightened about life. As I said, this person want to walk away or have walked away from toxic situations and things that no longer serve purpose. And they've been getting enlightened, but getting woke. Yeah, the lovers is here. They got love for somebody. This could be somebody that, you know, two people that who love, you know, each other deeply. Or they're just overall just a loving person and got love for people. You know, and they want somebody that, you know, that's going to love them back the way that they love. They could st feel like they stuck in a situation with somebody that they love and this person don't really love them back. So they're coming in, they're loving, they're, you know, loving this person. This person don't, you know, don't know how to show them love because they have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. They don't love themselves or nobody else. And they kind of feel stuck. Maybe they got kids or something with this person. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is something like a, you know, legacies, inheritance. Stuff that's owed to you by your ancestors. And when I mean old, it's like gifts that they give you. Intuition. Stuff that you can leave behind. Gifts that God have given us, you know, long time ago. Stuff that they can leave behind, you know, a Ten of Pentacles. This could be, the, they could look at this person. The Ten of, ten of Pentacles could all be, also could be like a family. So they could look at this person like this is the, you know, they family. They thought they was building a family with this person or they got a family with this person. And now they feel stuck as they've been getting enlightened and burdened and running in circles. And they, you know, want to walk away because of a lot of stuff that had been, you know, going on behind the scenes. With this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, they look at this person at the Six of Wands, a narcissist. Somebody that want to be seen in certain lights that ain't they own. They could do a lot of stuff to try to gain clout, get a lot of attention from people in a negative way. You know, they do stuff in a negative way and think it's going to attract positive attention. And um, they look at this person as somebody that's like a clout chaser. They want to be, you know, get a lot of recognition at the Six of Wands. But they're a Queen of Cups in the reverse. They don't love their stuff and they don't love other people, you know. Let alone, they don't even show love to their kids properly. When they in the reverse. Yeah, they look at this person as somebody that's jealous at the five of wands. They send conflict to a piece of uh, a person or different people. Fights, arguments. They always, you know, talking about a person bad, putting their mouth on a person bad, trying to one up this person. It just, you know, they look at this person as somebody that walking devil energy at the five of wands. So it could be a person that's trying to copy somebody or, you know, be in competition with a person. And they, you know, tired of this point of cups in the reverse. They look at this person as, you know, like a spiritual disgrace at the Five of Pentacles. Somebody that's physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. Don't know the knowledge about spirituality. Not trying to get woke. They just want to stay stuck in the matrix. And this person could also be, you know, in the process of wanting to ghost this person. This Five of Pentacles could mean somebody want to leave you out in the cold and just, you know, leave you alone. And ghost you. Because you got too much Five of Wands energy going on. Conflict, fights, arguments. And they getting tired of it. They running in circles at the Ten of Wands, heavy burdens. And they not getting nowhere. They got a lot of pressure on them. They trying to figure out why they can't manifest. As they at the dark night of the soul, trying to figure out why can't why don't why don't they have no money coming in? Because it's, it's this Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person that brings neg negativity. They draw negative ticket ne negativity 
towards them and the people that surround them. So as you attach to this person, you sitting in their karma and you can't manifest what you want. You can't move forward. And this is what this person is realizing. They in the process of leaving this person out in the cold and eight of cups and walking away from a toxic situation. They want love. Yeah, King of Swords in the reverse. This person feel like that, you know, that they couldn't speak their truth or they don't know how to speak their truth with this King of Swords in the reverse. This person could be, you know, this Queen of Cups in the reverse could be somebody that don't want to hear the truth. Or just somebody that's an overall person that don't speak the truth and don't want the truth to be revealed about stuff. So they run around and lie. This is a person that's a liar. They want this person to be looked at as somebody that's a liar. So as that person is stuck in that person's energy and have not walked away and cleansed their energy and got woke. Cleansed their space. Cleansed their mind, their body, and their soul away from that person. They being looked at as somebody that's a liar. Everything that that person had done put on them behind the scenes and, you know, with this conflict energy, this five of ones that talked about them bad and tried to one up them and stab them in the back to other people behind the scenes to make them look bad as they attach to this person. They got this person being looked at as a five of pentacles to other people, a spiritual disgrace. And this person feel left out in the cold by that person. And a lot of people don't even know. They just look at this person, somebody that don't even speak the truth about nothing. They can't ask them a question without them lying. And they just tired of it. They don't care how long they had been attached to this person. This person had them been attached to this person for over 10 years or more with this Ten of Pentacles. They had not been attached to this person for over 10 years and they could have, you know, kids together. Yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person is this woman. This is a Queen of Wands in the reverse. As I said, when this King of Swords popped out in the reverse, this person probably feel like won't nobody believe them. That's why they don't want to speak their truth or can't speak their truth. And this person don't want them to be able to speak the truth about the stuff that they had to been going through while with this individual, this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody they don't love they sell or nobody else. Not even their kids. But with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, they run around and play with black magic, witchcraft, word witchery. They always put their mouth on people in a negative way. They always in competition with a person. They always trying to one up a person, send conflict to a person, fights, arguments. And it's also a woman that step, steps out and have sex with multiple men. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody that can't manifest nothing. They don't have no passion. They don't have no, you know, attraction. People are not attracted to this person. And they could have got this person by placing stuff in their food in the past. To get this person to be attracted to them and they didn't know. This person could have been somebody that catfished them. Yeah, the hermit is here. This person, you know possibly need to go within to investigate with this Herman card. It's somebody that, that's a wise individual that goes within to investigate situations. Go, go within to investigate they self. Somebody that ghosts the world. This person may need to, you know, go in hermit mode. This person could just also not like to be around a lot of people. And this Queen of Cups in the reverse and this Queen of Wands in the reverse is somebody that tricked this person. And place black magic over them. Could have placed something in their food. Could have placed something in their cup. They could have went, went as far as to put in their period blood. And this person's food. And this person feel binded to them. Trying to figure out why they can't manifest nothing. Why ain't nothing going right in their life. It's because they attached to this person. They need to cleanse. Look up how to get black magic and voodoo up off of you. Hit a reversal. You need to take a reversal. Hit, uh, yeah, and reject this person. At the four cups. This person could have set back. And they didn't want to be rejected. So they cast love spells. Binder spells. Glamour spells. For them, this person to see them in certain lights that ain't they own. Sympathy spells. And sex magic. And things like that. Is this person sitting behind the scenes. Playing with stuff they know nothing about. All because this person don't love themselves. They had the queen of cups in the reverse. And they don't, they don't show love to people properly. They use trickery behind the scenes. And this person could have did this just to, you know, get in a marriage with this person or get in a partnership with this person a long time ago. And this person didn't know. 
This person that feels, yeah, a queen of swords in the reverse. This person is a karmic soulmate to them. Somebody that's like a karmic debt that this person had that hadn't finished from a fast life. And that's why they clicked. That's why this person was able to do this this lifetime. So this person can, you know, learn lessons to move on to their blessings. And this person don't speak the truth. Queen of Swords in the reverse. They don't want the truth to be exposed. They didn't want something, you know, some truth to be exposed in the past. That, you know, stuff that they had indeed in the past. And they didn't want to be rejected. So they lied. Queen of Swords is somebody that's a liar. Somebody that's mad. Pissed off and bitter. And they don't want to be exposed. They also don't want nobody to tell them, you know, nothing right. Or tell them the truth. They want to sit back and argue and fight because they cold hearted. A will of fortune is here. This person has a destiny. This person has a purpose. This these events that happen to this person, this man that's at the Ten of Wands, running in circles, could be in a marriage or a relationship. This person has good luck once they ate a cups away from that toxic situation. This person has a destiny, a purpose on earth. This person was sunk here with their own legacy. Stuff that they can create from the testimony that they have. But yeah, this was fated to happen so this person can wake up. You know, to see the person that they had been placed around, different people that they had been placed around throughout life that didn't serve them no purpose. So they cannot continue to stay at this Ten of Wands heavy burdens and run in circles. Doing the same thing around the same people and getting the same results and feel like why they don't have nothing coming in. Why can't they manifest anything as they watching other people manifest things? It's because the people you around, the people you attach to, the people you give your energy to. They keep you bound to their karma. Yeah, this person want to be a heal. You know, this person, you know, need to heal. The star is here. They could need to move, you know, move away from this person so they can heal. This person is a healer. This person is a leader. This person can get a lot of people attention with their testimony. Things that they had them been through at the Ten of Wands, heavy burdens. And running in circles throughout life. This is the reason why God had, you know, placed this person here to go through all of this. Because this person has a purpose. With this, with this will of fortune and a star card, this person is a healer. This person is a teacher. This person will attract a lot of attention. Once they get away from other people that, you know, got a lot of karma on them and they're not in that person's energy, they can manifest anything. You just got to have the strength. You got to want to heal the things that you have been through in the past with this star card so you can get to your destiny, your purpose. Your will of fortune. Your good luck. Yeah, king of wands. This person is a king of wands. This person could be somebody that's like a male. A male with a lot of, you know, talents. Psychic gifts. A multitasker. A hustler. A goal-oriented person. This person could attract, you know, a lot of women. A lot of attention. They could be very attractive, but they also can be somebody that, you know, that's gifted where, you know, they can rap too as well. Like a rapper or something like that. They could just want to go, you know, they, they got a heavy passion as well at the King of Wands to go towards, you know, people that are healing or wanting to heal. Or they can just, you know, be an overall person that's, you know, yeah, a messenger. This person is a messenger for God. This person is a communicator for God with this page of wands. Page of wands is somebody that's like a messenger, somebody that wants to send you a message or like a communicator or overall communication. But yeah, with this page of wands and king of wands, this person is like a rapper. This person could be somebody that, you know, write poems or stuff, you know, stuff like that. They got gifts, talents. Yeah, and they divinely protected at the seven of wands. By angels and ancestors that's probably, you know, been trying to get their attention. That's why they went through, you know, 
a lot of seven of wands energy, trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles, and felt like they was going through a lot of blockages at the seven of wands. But they also need to, you know, look up how to take a spiritual bath. Learn how to get black magic and voodoo up off of you. Cleanse your home, man. Look up how to hit a reversible. Hit a reversible with everything, everywhere you go, everything you eat, everything you drink. And cleanse yourself. Keep cleansing yourself. Cleanse your energy. Remove the blockages that haven't been placed on you that you didn't know. When you're around people that create blockages for other people with, you know, just negative talking about a person, that backfire on you too. Any karmic debt that you, you know, a person that you're around that's, uh, that you attached to, you get backfired. That, that stuff backfire on you too. Yeah, it's time to sail away at the Six of Swords. Move away from things that no longer serve you. And your ancestors at the Six of Swords, this is like ancestors, you know, sailing you away or, you know, being divinely guided by your ancestors to sail away from a situation. Because it no longer serves your purpose here on Earth. You got a destiny to fulfill, a purpose to fulfill. Yeah, and this person is, is you know, the, to the devil, somebody that's toxic. Whoever you around, they got obsessions, binded to bad habits. Or this per this devil card could overall this mean the person that I'm talking about is could be somebody that's a Capricorn. Yeah, six of pentacles. Balance. They want somebody that's gonna be equal with them. They want somebody that's like equal give and take. Or somebody that likes to balance stuff out, balance the scales out. This could be a person that's given as well. And they done gave to so many people. And they feel like they have not received anything back. It's the people that you're around. The person that you're around. The person that you thought you was building with. A person you probably, you know, got kids with. And whatever, you know, this person have done in the past or doing now. It's just coming back on you tenfold. Six of Pentacles in this deck. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. Universe got to be balanced out. The energy you walk in got to be balanced out. Overall, people got to be balanced out to balance the scales. Karma, man. Yeah, ace of wands in the reverse. This person don't want you to have no new beginning. Ace of wands in the reverse is like somebody wanting to have, a, you know, new beginnings, new ventures. And then it's also mean yes to me, but when it pop out in the reverse, it means no. This person do not want you to have no new beginnings. Ace of Wands in the reverse. They don't want you to have no new beginnings. They don't want you to... This person could feel like without you, they don't have no new beginnings. And by you walking away from this person and leaving this person in their karma, that's their karma. That's their lesson that they have to learn. They learn a lesson from it and you learn a lesson from it too, just so you can grow. Move on to your blessings. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This person could be, you know, somebody once they move on, they're going to be a King of Pentacles. Somebody that's stable, a stable person, a business male, jack of all trades. This could be somebody that's a husband overall, the King of Pentacles. Somebody that's a nurturer. They nurture out to people, give people good advice. A father, somebody that's, you know, a hard worker. And they take care of everything around them. You know, this person, you know, once they walk away, they're going to be the king of pentacles. Somebody that's money oriented. They're going to be able to see properly. Because this person is toxic, man. They don't want them to have nothing. Yeah, they need to be putting a depth to the situation. They have to put a depth to the situation. They have to, you know, put an end to a situation so they can have, you know, a rebirth. This don't all this this could also mean the actual death of a person, but this could all you know could mean overall a rebirth. You need to put an end to a situation that you're in, or just the you know type of energy that you possess or you walk in, so you can have a rebirth. And that's just all about getting woke. Yeah, you know, five of swords. This is somebody that's you know. Trying to sabotage you. This person has got a lot of hatred for you. 
This person is jealous of you, envious of you. And this person is trying to win at all costs. This person could be mentally unstable. Could be sitting back under, you know, mind control by the devil. As they had done, you know, did a whole bunch of bad things and let the devil take control of them. So that's the, you know, energy they, they walk in. Devil energy. And this person could, you know, intentionally want to cause harm to you. And you don't know this. Because this person used trickery to think, you know, make you think that they in love with you or they got love for you. But they're queen of cups in the reverse. They don't love themselves or nobody else. They don't even know how to show love properly. They're at the five of swords, walking in devil energy. They're trying to sabotage you, trying to defeat you. Y'all always going back and forth. And, and this is a secret. The moon is here. This person is a mother figure that got a lot of secrets. When this moon pop out, this could be secrets. Things hidden, a mother figure with secrets. And this person could, you know, this is a secret to you and you don't know this. Because you trust this person. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You look at this person as somebody that's, you know, family. It could be secrets that's hidden in their family that you didn't know. And they, you know, this is a person that wants you to be stuck at the Eight of Swords, bound to them. Binded and blinded to the devil for debts that's owed. So you're not properly able to see. You're not properly able to move. And you're trying to figure out why you at the nine of swords. As this person had you at the eight of swords. Binding and blinding and stuck. And you sitting back at the nine of swords. A mental person in your head trying to figure this out. Trying to figure out why you can't manifest nothing. Why you can't have this and that. Why are you at the ten of wands always going in circles and heavy burdens. You're sitting in karma because of stuff that this person hasn't did. To have you at the eight of swords bound to them and stuck. And you need to overall cleanse yourself. And walk away from this person. Yeah. This person could be somebody that's a baby mother with this Empress card. And wanted you to be blinded from the truth. At the two of swords with this Empress card. This is somebody that you overall got kids by. And they want you to be blinded at the two of swords. From the truth. As they sit back blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. And they also could have tried to blind the justice system. And you didn't know this. Yeah, the musician is here. A musician is somebody that has control over their life, their life's path. Somebody that can manifest, got creativity and foresight. You, the, you are the musician of your own life. This person know you a manifester. This person know what you can create by yourself. And this person is jealous of that at the five of swords. Envious of that. They don't want you to walk away so they feel like they got you stuck and bound. And want to keep you blinded with kids. To keep you in a relationship. To keep you possibly in a marriage with them. And you just stuck at the ten of wands. Heavy burdens and run around in circles. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. And getting the same results over and over again. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is like a gift. A gift from the sky. You got gifts from God. God wants to gift you, but you have to walk away from this situation with this baby mother that you blinded to. So you can not overall get your gift. So God can gift you from the sky because you, you, you can create a new business or you will be creating a new business venture or starting a new business of your own. That's your legacy. Stuff that you create on your own. Stuff that you believe you leave behind for you and your kids. Everybody can't be attached to your legacy. Everybody can't go with you. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. Ace of Swords Clarity is about gaining truth and clarity. Or overall, you just need to speak the truth to a person and let them go. Could be one of the two or it could be just both. You know, gain truth and clarity or I'm just, you know, speaking the truth and you need to speak the truth. Nine of Wands, because this is something that occurred over and over and over again. You a wounded warrior at the Nine of Wands. You had to be battered and bruised and left wounded. And you had to be stuck just trying to hold on, left alone. Something occurred over and over and over and over and over again. Or you feel like you're just going through the same thing over and over and over and over and over again at the Nine of Wands upright and you nervous about moving on.
You're a wounded warrior, man. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You're the type of person that's always coming in quick with love for people. You always express your emotions to people. Or you could be just somebody that want to connect with somebody and show love to them. You know, come in quick with love for a person. Or this is just the individual you is. You always at the Knight of Cups. You come in quick with love for, it, for everybody and everybody around you. And you could be sitting there trying to figure out why ain't nobody coming in quick with love for you. It's the energy that you're around. This person don't love themselves or nobody else. And they want to be rid on the high horse and seen in certain lights that ain't their own. Yeah, tower in the reverse. You won't be sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices if you start loving yourself, man. And eight of cups away from toxic situations. It don't gotta be it could be, you know, this and other situations as well. This and more, you know. Or you gonna yeah, judgment is here, karma. This judgment could be good karma, it could be bad karma. But you don't want to keep sitting back. And karma, and judgment, and being judged for everything that this person had done did wrong. You could be just sitting back in judgment and karma constantly because you stayed attached to this person and constantly showing love to the wrong people. Knight of Cups. Love yourself. Yeah, things is moving forward with the chariot. Things is moving forward in life or will move forward in life if you move on with the chariot. Especially after gaining the truth and clarity about a situation. Or, you know, a person that you haven't been attached to for so long. And you don't know, you know, you're nervous about... you just been wounded. It's a lot of stuff that's hidden that you, you know, have not said anything about. And you don't know how to speak your truth. You're nervous. Yeah, but you, you want to be happy with this sun card. A lot of stuff is being illuminated. Things is coming to light and secrets have been exposed, been revealed. And it's the reason why, because you're supposed to move forward with this chariot. You're supposed to be at the sun car and be happy. You don't supposed to constantly be going through at the ten of wands, heavy burdens and running in circles through a situation and getting the same results and constantly being a wounded warrior and left wounded. Yeah, you don't like being around people that's, you know, at the Page of Pentacles and don't got nothing to offer nobody. Page of Pentacles is somebody that's childish. They don't have much to offer. Or they, they don't want to give much. And they're just childish. They have childish behavior. Coming in quick with the message, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like something that's coming in quick. Someone sending you a message over the internet or online or just on social media. Or it could just be quick exposure coming in. Quick movement. Text message. Anything like that. Temperance is here. Yeah, this person is... You could be somebody that's an angelic being. Somebody that, you know, was sent here. An angel that was sent here by God. You got angels and ancestors pouring out love to you, divine guidance and protection. And this also means balance. You may need to balance out masculine and feminine energy. Balance yourself out with this temperance card. Yeah, two of wands in the reverse. You don't want to keep standing at a two of wands stalemate not knowing which way to go. You want that two of wands to be in the reverse. Where you're able to make a proper decision at the three of wands. No longer standing at a stalemate. Not knowing which way to go. Two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, three of swords. You could be going through a lot of depression. You could be depressed over decisions that you have made wrong in the past. Or you could just be heartbroken from traumatic events that took place in your life. And you could be going through a lot of depression. And that's why you need to balance things out with this temperance card. Seven of Cups. 
You feel like it's a lot of illusions and confusions that was placed around you, which it was. As we in the seventh generation, the last generation, each generation is like a data god. Seven of cups. We in illusions and confusions. It's up to you to eight of cups and walk away from toxic situations and things that no longer serve you. To fulfill your destiny and purpose on earth. Some people get woke and some people don't. This person could be somebody that, you know, want to create a lot of confusions around you. And this person is keeping you confused. You can't see properly. Yeah, Ten of Swords. This person is, could be under, you know, cursed and hexed. You could be under a curse and hex, a generational curse, and you didn't know. As you were sent here to break generational curses. Up off of your bloodline and you didn't know. This person could have set back and backstabbed you with multiple people and you didn't know. You done went through harsh, painful endings. You feel like you, you know, was cursed or hexed or was under a ten of swords. A lot of people just backstabbed you. And you sitting back confused trying to figure out why. You were somebody that was sent here by God, an angel. Yeah, you're an emperor. You need to have control over your life. You're a divine being that had them been through a lot because you have a testimony to give. Not only for you to get woke, but somebody else to get woke. You have a story to give, a story to tell, to help somebody else. As I say, everybody can't go. Even the people that you thought was going to go. What was supposed to go. That had been placed around you to teach you lessons. You move on from them people. You receive your blessings. Yeah, you could be an overall person that just can embody every king in the deck. In the upright position. Somebody that runs everything around them like a boss. And you went through this ten of swords so you be can become an emperor. Yeah, King of Cups, because you're a King of you're a King of Cups as well. You're a person that's very emotional. You speak your emotions a lot. Or you could be, you know, in your emotions a lot. You just got overall emotions and love for people. This this King of Cups is a loving, caring male. Somebody that's a loving, caring father figure. Emotionally mature. Somebody that has psychic abilities, a gifted man. Could be a man that's, you know, show love to everybody. As you in the upright, this person is in the reverse. And it don't match. This person is not somebody that was sent here to be with you. Somebody that's not your soulmate. This could have been a karmic soulmate. Person that was sent here to teach you lessons on what not, on what not to uh, accept. And move on to your blessings. Yeah, you, you need to be at the nine of pentacles upright. Single, sufficient, abundant boss. Intuitive. Somebody that stands out. Yeah, this person is, you know, they always use their own intuition. They don't sit back and this person can read energy. They don't sit back and let what others do around them, you know, the stuff that they see called judgment in their eyes on other people. You need to be at the nine of pentacles up right. This person is by themselves, a single person. So you can stand out. Because you're not being able to stand out as you stay stuck with this Queen of Cups in a reverse. Yeah, hair is here. God stepped in on this situation or God will be stepping in on this situation. You could be somebody that's, you know... This could be, you know, somebody that you committed to in a, in a marriage, possible marriage. As I said in the past, this could be somebody that you, you know, married to. But this hair fine is with this hair fine popping out. This could be, you know, God stepping in on this situation and you're a person that's like God. You could be somebody that's like a spiritual advisor. You give speeches and things like that. A lot of people look up to you. They want to talk to you. They like to, you know, communicate with you. The hair fine. Yeah, you could be somebody that's, you know, somebody that just helped people get woke. As I say, you got a testimony to give and you didn't know. Knight of Wands. You could have been running around here at the Knight of Wands a lot. 
Knight of Wands energy is doing a lot of stuff without thinking it through. Somebody that's quick for movement. And this person that you, you know, you, this could also mean that you a person that's, you know, at the hair fine, you committed, you loyal to this person. And they are Knight of Wands. They do a, little, a lot of stuff without thinking it through, without thinking it forward. They could be a person that, you know, the type of person that go in quick and have sex with anybody. Or a person that just come in and out your life. Yeah, three of wands is here. Decisions have been made. This three of wands means, it's a, you know, a, a final decision has been made. You need to make a final decision at the three of wands. And no longer be, you know, able to, unable to make a proper decision. Eight of Pentacles is here. Eight of Pentacles is somebody that's working on themselves. Could be working on a new career. Could be just somebody at work. Could be a new job offer at the Eight of Pentacles. Probably just overall need to work on self. Yeah, Five of Cups is here. Five of Cups is, is uh, overall regret. A person that don't believe in God. A person that, you know, sit back in embarrassment. They're ashamed. They don't want to be around people. And they, you know, possibly not able to face the world, they feel like. But this person that you could have been attached to could be somebody that don't believe in God. And y'all have two different belief systems. You could be a person that's a hair of mine, somebody that believes in God, a strong believer in God, somebody that's God-like. And you haven't been with this person or around this person. You're trying to figure out why this person don't want to go to church with you. Why this person don't want to, you know, hear you talk about God. Or you the only one who have taught this person about God. Because this person don't believe in God. This person is a non-believer. They trip over cups and play with stuff they know nothing about. You just didn't know. You know, Seven of Pentacles is here. Investment. And Seven of Pentacles, Strength, and Queen of Pentacles. This person could be somebody that's like a wife. This Queen of Pentacles is like a, a, a wife, a mother. This could be somebody that, you know, you sit back and you invest in all the time. Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. This person is the type of person that just wants somebody to sit back and give them money. They're all about money. They want you to constantly invest in them. Give to them. But yeah, overall, you, you, you know, you gain strength or you will continue to gain strength throughout this situation as the strength is in the upright because you're a strong individual that hasn't been through a lot. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, you need to be mindful of what you give your time, your money, and your energy to at the Four of Pentacles. Be stingy with time, money, and energy because this person is going to continue to try to hold on to you. This person could be an energy vampire. That drain and suck up a lot of energy from you. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. You, this Ace of Cups means that you, you need to start finally showing yourself some love at the Ace of Cups. Finally start showing yourself self-care. You know, you could be somebody that sit back in your emotions. could be somebody that's crying obsessively. But you need to overall show yourself some love. Once you start loving yourself more, you will least expect what type of love you will attract. So start loving yourself at the Ace of Cups. As you a type of person that show a lot of other people love, but you need the Ace of Cups and start showing yourself some love, taking care of yourself. Yeah, Four of Wands in the reverse. Four of Wands in the reverse is somebody that's unstable. This person is unstable. This person don't have no stability. You could feel like you're unstable around this person and you don't know why. This person could be somebody that was sent here that don't want you to come in union with your soul. As the four of wands could be, you know, you coming in union with your soul. Somebody that you look at as family. Like when it's in the reverse, this person is not family to you. This person is not stable. This person is not, don't want you to be stable. Four of wands in the reverse. Don't want you to have stability. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is somebody that's, um, you know, could be somebody that sit back on social media all the time. Somebody that sit back, you know, 
on social media just stalking a person or stalking different people and just don't have much better to do trying to strategize on what they can you know how they can one up people or you know stuff that's not good situation need to be laid to rest at the four swords overall you need to isolate yourself from this person this person could have gotten you sick and you don't know why why are you going through what you're going through you need to place yourself in solitude and get enlightened more and more and get woke at the Four of Swords. Page of Cups in the reverse. You're not somebody that's emotionally immature, but this person is. Page of Cups in the reverse is, you know, somebody in the upright, it could be somebody that's in love with you and they don't know how to properly um, express their emotions. Could be messages from above. But as the center reverse, it's like you're not getting any messages. You're not, you don't have no intuition because you're around this person. That's an energy vampire to suck up all your energy. And you didn't know this. But yeah, you know, you're not a person. You don't even have no emotions for this person. And this person don't have no emotions for you. Could be kids that's keeping y'all attached to each other. Yeah, six of cups. Oh, this person's at the seven of swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. This person is a liar, a cheater, a thief. Use people for what they can get. This person is a scam artist. Yeah, and the fool is here. The fool is about new things coming in, taking leaps of faith. New ventures in life going towards somebody to, you know, speak your emotions or could just be a new career path. Or new things coming in for you. Once you take that leap of faith. And you know move on. The fool card. Taking a leap of faith. Yeah you got a two of cups. You have a two of cups. Somebody that you're going to be in love with. Two people that love each other. Partnership. Somebody that you can work with. As you stuck in a karmic you know relationship. With a karmic soulmate that's teaching you lessons so you can move on to your blessings, which is your two of cups. Somebody that's going to love you back like you equally love. Yeah, six of cups. This could be a past life relationship, a past life soulmate. Could be somebody that you knew when you was a kid. Or somebody you knew in the past before you met this person. Yeah, you could have knew this person 